Meet George Barna. You might know him better as the creator of the Barna Research Group, which is the leading research organization focused on the intersection of faith and culture. George is a great guy, a well-respected voice across all denominations, and by all indication, he's not a nutcase. But George emailed me one day because, well, something had happened to his wife. Um, we, George got the DVD for Finger of God, and we watched it. A num- I watched it a number of times because I watched it with friends. I watched it with my kids. I wanted them to see it, and we dis- it was a great discussion tool. We're on our horses riding up in the hills. Almost, she almost fell off her horse laughing. That she said it was the stupidest thing like, she had ever so heard. Pokey. She was, she, I mean, she, this is the only time I remember her almost falling off her horse. She was laughing so hard. She said, this is, sounds like the hokiest thing I've ever heard. And I said, I know it does, it does. Watch the DVD because I still think it's hokey, but just watch the DVD. <laughs> so we watched the DVD <laughs> together and we were talking, still talking about how stupid and hokey it was because it, there's no way God works this way. So. We had had this discussion many times, and I about the fifth time I, I saw it, I was went to go to bed and brush my teeth, and all of a sudden I opened my mouth, and there's this tooth. And I came running down, and I said, George, you're not going to believe it. I have a gold tooth. And my skeptical, cynical husband right away said, how cool. I mean, there wasn't <laughs> even a, he didn't even blink to think, maybe that's not true, maybe it didn't happen. I mean, he, right away he knew. He just said, how true, how true. I mean, how cool, this is great. And so it was about 10, 15, 10, 30 at night and I call her up and I never call her that late and she thought, oh, something must have happened. And she answers the phone. I was prepared for the worst. <laughs> and then I said, you're not gonna believe this, Darlene. I got a gold tooth. I said, and I said, and I'm gonna pray God gives you one because I don't wanna be the only one with one. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna pray he takes away your headaches too because she had migraines. So the next morning, I, I call her about 8.15 because we were going to go riding. And she answers the phone and she's a bad bitch. She goes, blah, 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 blah. I said, spit it out. And she goes, I got a gold tooth. I just still marvel that he chose us to give us gold teeth because we are so not gold teeth people. We are just... It's so not about us. <laughs> it, it, is, it is, I know. And for, for, I mean, I can understand in a church where that's what's happening and what's, that's what they're praying for. But it's kind of a random act of God showing up, which I think is makes it really fascinating. I mean, I still am fascinated by why God cho- chooses to show up in what ways and what times. But that's not up to me. <laughs>